James's traffic jam. One morning, as James waited to leave the big station, the fat controller came to see him. "I hope that you can give us a good run this morning, James," he said. "I have an important meeting to go to, and I don't want to be late. Do your best, won't you?" "Of course, sir," replied James. "We'll have you there in no time." "Well done," laughed the fat controller. "I know I can rely on you." On every passenger train, there is something called an emergency cord. If there is an emergency, it can be used to call the guard, and it automatically stops the train at the same time. But it only must be used in an emergency; otherwise, the person who pulled it may have to pay a fine. On James's train today, there was a party of foreign holidaymakers. They could not understand English very well, and thought that the chain above the door was for calling the buffet car attendant. So they pulled it. Suddenly the brakes came on, and James had to stop as quickly as he could. Oh no! He groaned as he came to a standstill. Now what? Emergency, James said. His driver, looking back, someone has pulled the emergency communication cord. The guard walked on the train to find out what was wrong. The foreign visitors were pleased to see him, but the guard was not pleased when they asked him for four cups of coffee. The matter was soon cleared up, and the guard told James he could go. But when he tried to start, he found that he couldn't. The sudden action of the brakes had locked them solid, and James couldn't move an inch. What was worse, the train had stopped right across a level crossing, and by now there were long queues of cars on both sides waiting to get over the railway. James was overcome with embarrassment, but he couldn't do a thing about it. The fat controller came, and all the motorists all told him what a nuisance the railway was. "I'm sorry, sir," said James sadly. "Not your fault, James," he replied. "But I don't know how I'm going to reach my meeting." James didn't either. Then a flash of colour in the traffic queue caught his eye. "Isn't that Bertie waiting?" he said. "Maybe he can turn round and..." In a flash, James's fireman was running down the road. A few minutes later, he came back grinning broadly. "No problem, sir," he said to the fat controller. "He is trying to reach the same place as you. He said he'll be happy to take you when he has turned." It was another hour before a fitter came to mend the brakes, and longer still before James could get his train moving. He was very sorry. And so were the foreign visitors, but they promised not to make the same mistake again. James felt certain they wouldn't.